right. This is episode one of this week at Startup Studios with Seth and Raj. How's it going? Pretty excited about it, man. Some of the back right? and forth has been fun. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, this um so a uh, quick kind of a summary about it. So uh you and I just kind of came up uh with wanting to do this together, like literally right at the beginning of the month. Um, it's January 17th today. So I think like less than two weeks ago. And we yeah. moved pretty fast. So yeah, this is uh this is this is gonna be fun. I think I've been, you know, I've been lucky enough, man. I met you, you know, going on four or five months now. And I think you and I speak the same language about what people find themselves going up against, what they don't understand they're going to go up against and how lonely it is. And I think that was kind of the whole point of it, to be honest. And that's how I reached out to you. And then that's how you and I became so close in what we were doing. And, and your success isn't something that's like coincidental as neither is mine and neither are trials and tribulations. And I think collectively it's okay to talk about. Yeah, exactly. Like the way I, I kind of look at it as, you know, um, uh, and and our uh, for people who are going to view this video later on, they're going to see or, or be able to see our intros and kind of learn more about us uh, first before our guests and stuff come on. But um, you know, the idea that came from or, or the way I see our dynamic in this is like you know, even though you you see yourself in with some failures, but you know you've got plenty of successes too. And even right now with Drive Health. Um, you know, that's going to do pretty well. And you're already seeing the, you know, that uh, the wheels turning there. And then on my end, like somebody who's tried a couple of different startups and tried on the VC side, and it's kind of trying to rebuild. So for both of us being so plugged into the early state side, and not only recently, but for a while, and building the networks that we have, I feel like the communities that we've been a part of and seeing that there's this need for the people that we have connected with, right? Like straight up, like our, we have varying level or the way I see it, I have varying level of success, but the people that I work with along the way, they, some of them have done massively well for themselves or, um, you know, they work with similar early stage companies all the time. So us being able to just highlight our friends and being able to tell like companies like, hey, these guys are amazing for these reasons. Go talk to them. I feel like is a is a pretty noble uh, mission as well. And, and not only that, I think that's extremely apropos. But even further, it's like not only are you you talking about the ups and the downs and the network effect that have come from that. They respect you. Like their political capital is something they're willing to give to you, and it doesn't matter the wins or the losses or the wins or the lessons that you had, they're like, listen, this is a good person. This is how they do it. And I think that was kind of like, for me, one of the impetuses and catalysts to join you on this venture was I'm in here a lot, like so much. And I think 13 out of 10 founders are in here a lot. And it's okay to just say that out loud. Be like, man, that internal narrative imposter syndrome is really brutal. It's brutal. And that was kind of like why I think you and I, <clears throat> wanted to do this and, and we connected so well which is great and and i think if there's you could take any solace from that network effect that you've built for those people who are willing to give that political capital to you that's a validating metric of like no just <laughs> and, and no, hopefully I, we can kind of do that through that. the studio model yeah yeah no absolutely um uh you know the the my my imposter syndrome kind of screams out like hey you're if you were to try it yourself right like there are limitations because of my experience you know from zero to x right but there are other people who are like x times a hundred um and so like me finding my lane where i believe like one of my missions lately has been or in even in the past where i have found the most kind of amount of joy it's just providing service or providing connections to other people so if if we are able to do this and find some awesome founders who we connect with and uh, are able to make a good match or a good connection between our friends and these new people who are doing amazing things like that at the end of the day is what i think every awesome vc fund every awesome accelerator every awesome incubator is just upon um, and if we're just doing this as like two friends, just, you know, talking and eventually with our guests coming up and, and introducing each other to them. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty easy way to get some, some good wins. 
Yeah, I'll also like I'll be honest. I think you're being a little bit self-deprecating here because not too many accelerators and VCs and whatnot are are judging themselves, like you said, on like, hey, the efficacy of the community and the camaraderie. No, they're they're talking about what their hits and misses are and their unicorns. But more importantly, I think you you had a great you know lead into like what would you expect here? We have we've built out some really really cool people and and what's interesting and I think you and I talked about it the other day is the guests that we have won't just be like okay well here's guest x it's like listen i need bail money like send and (laughs) and which is great i think that's unfortunately what we gotta what we need um i mean well even though nowadays right like it's 2023 now and even after like i i feel like the initial part of covid where it was like really depressing we're kind of coming towards that that side again um but you know, like people are are opening up more and and talking against the hustle culture and and being like, hey, this, you know, regardless of however what whatever kind of entrepreneurship that you you're in, right? And everybody has like different levels of entrepreneurship too. Like as as you go along, um, where you realize like no matter who it is on the other side, they're kind of going through similar things or um, have their own ways of digging themselves out. And I feel like that is going to be a big part of not only the people that we bring on, but even ourselves. So, uh, you know, we're going to talk about like kind of the format of the of the, the show rather or what we're going to do every week and um, being able to really, um, you know, and, and I think one of the, the advantages that you and I bring out in each other is being able to like not only quiet the imposter syndrome in the other, but then also openly say like, hey, this is why I feel this way or this is why like, um, you know, this is something I'm dealing with and this is how or the experiments I'm running to fix it, right? Um, and as we go, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but um, just being open enough to like try it together. And I, I, you know, that's again, a big reason why I wanted to do this with you is because over the last like six or so months that we've been working together, like, and as I've been kind of trying to rebuild myself from, you know, a failed startup again to, oh, what do I do? And all these other people tell me like, hey, you should do this or that. So, um, no, I, I really appreciate you uh, for that. And and that's why I'm so excited. No, I think and that's like, a, again, a great point about who the guests that we're going to have on. But more importantly, like like the vision for what we could build. And, and a perfect, you know, use case was today, even myself. I mean, we can, we can go back and forth and lamenting about, oh, well, I missed here. I missed here. I did well here. But we don't even hear ourselves. We treat ourselves. And this is kind of the ubiquitous you and I. We, we, we always treat ourselves the worst. I sent you, like, and people, you know, they need to know that while I have people that are, you know, doing X, Y, and Z, I come to you for the reality. I, I send you a picture today. I was like, hey, man, like we need more than this. Like, I'm glad that we had this awesome partnership. And I didn't even do that. I didn't even go that far. I, I shut myself down. And I said, you know, I need more. I, I went straight to not, hey, good job, X, Y, and Z startup. You did this. I went to, man, X, Y, and Z startup. You could have done that plus four. And I sent it to you. And you're like, look what you did. Like, stop right. for a second take a breather and look what you did. I'm like, how cool is that? If we could sit back and, and, and have people come onto the platform, have them come to a startup and be like, Hey, startup studios is, is going to be a place of vulnerability yet empowerment, man. I, I do that all day with you. I do that all day with you because not only is it like, again, it's not the efficacy of hearing it. It's truly the unlocking of the growth because now I'm like, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to pick up that call. I'm going to, I mean, pick up that phone and and call that potential future partner, which maybe I didn't think I was going to do yesterday, but now I talk to my people. I talk to my advisor. I talk to my fractional X, Y, and Z person who really sat there and heard me, not just like listening, but they heard me, man, that's cool. Yeah. That's and cool. I, I, that as we go along, right, some of the guests that we're going to be inviting kind of fit in those parameters too. So being yeah. able to see on both sides, like, not only our questions for them, like, hey, how do we engage somebody badass like you, right? And then yeah. on the flip side, like, what do they look for in new opportunities? I think that's going to be, be super exciting. Um, so what's your end game? What do you envision, like, big, 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 hey, you, 
big hairy, you know, the hag or the hairy <laughs> audacious goal. And five years from now, we built startup studios in two. Um, yeah, well, I like so startup studios, the name kind of hits on you know, like people who build startups. And contextually, right? you've been at this, you you set this up two and a half years ago. So uh both startup studios, the website and and kind of the LLC, we started yeah, the big three years ago. Um, but and if the idea around it was something very similar to what we have in mind today, because I was just coming off another VC fund and an accelerator where I was like, hey, there are ways to do it without complicating things. Right? And yeah. that that was one of the takeaways that I I got from the failed accelerator program. The VC fund is still running, but my involvement with it. I just felt like uh, I should have moved on. Um, and so when it comes to like for startup studios, like right now we're focusing very much so on just our own blog and uh, the, the podcast. For sure. uh, pretty soon, like, you know, between our own networks, I feel like we have at least maybe a 100, 200 people that we trust have ex exits of, you know, $50 million or higher have had fundraisers, uh, successful fundraisers, have been core team members of awesome companies. And those are the perspectives which, you know, if we're focusing on the early stage side, right? Like those are perspectives which I don't feel like you can ever get enough of. Um, and then if you bring the dynamic of that, we are focusing on the people that you and I know very well. Like right. we're not going to be finding, you know, third party like connections who we just kind of met on LinkedIn once. These are people who we've been in the trenches with before or, or connected with in different ways. Um, and that will be front and center first. The, 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 the vision right now or the, the way I see the podcast kind of unfolding is like if it's one of my buddies, I tell him like, hey, this is my boy, Raja. Like, Raja, you should know X, Y, Z. And this is how we know each other. And boom, this is you know why you as an early stage founder should at least be exposed to his journey. You know, I mean, it, it's not necessarily like us presenting those people as oh these are just amazing people that everybody should know yes in a way but it's more so like we want to keep that culture of like we are friends first who are introducing our friends to each other because we are deep into this startup ecosystem and we, we want to provide our own value and i'm going to push back even more on that because that literally was a use case that happened with you know when we're doing the, the tech stars and actually towards the end like one iteration further, the person you introduced me to specifically, this was Seth's person, they went out of their way repeatedly, repeatedly to engage, repeatedly to check in, repeatedly to empower, and, and on their own volition, not you prompting them on the side. So like <laughs> kind of talking about going in the trenches with them, like they'll then by extension go into the trenches with somebody else. And I can't tell you, and and I guess for startup studios or just people and founders, while it's talk, if I could monetize that, <laughs> those <laughs> conversations that might have made the Delta and the Domino to get into a Y Combinator or not, that could be unicorn status compensation you owe that person yeah. in metaphorical. But like, you know, you're even the people you introduced me to, and it was via WhatsApp <laughs> in one message turn into a historical relationship that's hard and you've done it and that's what kind of what we see right so i mean i've been out of the the bay area kind of ecosystem for a couple of years now i'm slowly coming back but for for you for example like being so in the seattle ecosystem and really diving in and the the people that you've met right like you can tell that the good ones like if if you're cool, if you're if you're doing something good and if you're sincere and if you're the type of person who you or I, you know, when and our our filter isn't that crazy either. Most people's filter isn't that that ridiculously high. It's like if you can show me a good enough reason for me to just make that one little action, you know, right now with autocorrect and stuff, it literally takes like less than a minute to make that message. Right. So. And, and that, that exact same use case is what in the future, as we build out the directory of our friends and just put the, put up their profile and their flag and say, hey, these are our friends who have worked with these companies and have sold this and, and have advised these kinds of companies and this is what they do. 
if you are a startup that is looking for somebody like that, hey, go ahead. Like, we don't take anything. We're not like a, a paid network or anything right now. Maybe we're going to figure out like community monetization and stuff uh, just to keep it uh, a little more focused. But otherwise, like, this is our friends creating our own marketplace. And then eventually, just like accelerator programs, we have access to all the startup resources, all the credits, all these other like... Um, in some cases, we might be able to list affiliate links, but otherwise, if we can just, uh, like any other incubator program, offer AWS credits or HubSpot for startup programs and, and stuff uh, for uh, on their behalf, um, you know, why not? If there's a company who doesn't have it, excellent. Even the way I I would love it is, like, if there's a YC company or if there's, like, a StartX or, you know, Techstars company who already has access to that amazing network. But it's like, you know what, we've gone through so many different kinds of people, it's, it hasn't worked out for one reason or another. I'm going to give this a shot. Like my my pure vision for startup studios in the future is for us to be like a concierge founder. Like call us, you know, eventually in the app, like you, you have an SOS, you have a problem, um, you know, find an expert or here's some resources. Or if you want to just talk it out, here's a community for founders to do that too. Um, so like, even though it's all like kind of big picture and, and you have your own uh, vision, which I want to hear about too, like, you know, right now I'm just super excited for us to focus on like just you and I folks like talking about blog ideas uh, or like, um, or like certain early stage topics and then the guests that we're going to take. But no, I, I think that's me. so, ap no, it's, it's ex exactly in alignment. I do. I, first I want to, I want to take a second and appreciate the point that you listen we're not martyrs. You're not a martyr. You you do have to find a way within with aligned incentives to monetize down the road. Like I, I I mean I think it's important to be honest about that, or else like again, if I'm a founder coming to you, Seth, and being like, I know you're bringing on this person who understands branding. I know you know this person who's you know cap table dilution. I know you understand like great. Like I I I hear the awareness, but how do I trust you unless I know like you're the reality of hey hey listen guys like we're doing this, and if we do it hard for you. I expect the value to be like to be honored, and and I'm glad that that's a, the reality. And I think you kind of hit on the perfect segue into what my vision was, which is lockstep. Maybe just down the road of like in the beginning, that's there's, and and if we kind of, is it, uh, what's the guy Richie me where he goes backwards? Doesn't matter, but. <laughs> stigma no but instead of being like you you know that starts with awareness that turns in trust and turn in conversion if we want people to have conversions like you have to trust us and the other way to trust is if we have awareness and i think the awareness is perfectly that here it is let's talk here are the 200 people here are the 100 people over the past year and a half two and a half years man i'm at 27 months i did the math the other day 27 months of ideation talking to the dave parkers the dan kahani's the the, the akashas the perkins cooies the the vc people the Kirby's who are saying, hey, listen, you're not fundable yet, but you can do this, 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 and this. And these guys, we have five-time founders. We have billion-dollar revenue companies. And you're like, what? Like, I, I, we were talking to a guy the other day, and he goes, hey, call me whenever you want. I'm like, you did $1.9 billion in revenue last year. He's like, I said, call me whenever you want. I was like, yes. <laughs> and it wasn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't fishing for a compliment. It wasn't, wasn't a platitude. It wasn't placating me to get off the phone. It was truly like, hey, listen, this is hard call me whenever you need shoot that sos into the app like i'm here for you that's hard especially in and you know seth i know my glasses on but i don't know how much how much melanin you have it seems like it's a little bit more than <laughs> it's not easy for some it's not yeah. easy for some i'm from texas you know like i'm from the south and i didn't speak the speak and now i moved to seattle like you mentioned i'm not a, i'm a non-technical founder and you don't have a network here it's hard and then to reach out to those people who want to put their moniker of mentor or whatever on their, their LinkedIn profile, but just put that up and just walk away from it, it's extremely disenfranchising as a founder. And I think startup studios could be that safe space to be like, yeah, that sucked. Here's our, here's our people. Yep. And, and you tell us, if they don't show up three times in a row, they're gone. And by three times, I mean one time, like... Let's be honest. It's so hard reaching out to be vulnerable. Like, hey, Seth, like, I don't know what to do. Can you help me out? Of course I can. And you get ghosted by somebody. Mm -hmm. 
it's brutal. How many more times would you be vulnerable? So I think that's really that's that's really the the value that a lot of people don't understand. And and again, I, I even mentioned to you specifically in our use case, I kind of came to you hat in hand, and your network turned me on to a, a different Raj and a different company and a different everything. And I think we can kind of put that all together. What would you think then is like a a, a big picture after you're going like? How do you think? Because the awareness then goes into trust. Yeah. So we have the trust in. I think, you know, I, I built out an accelerator that I think, you know, has quite a few companies have gone through it. You know, 33 companies have gone through it and seven have been funded. But to get to that point, we have to have that network effect. And then candidly, if I'm being really honest down the road, if you are the seven companies that have been funded, why aren't we funding you? So uh, I think a, a fund is is just a logical next step. That's me. I, I I completely. I mean, I I do see that, and and you and I have spoken the, about this in detail for the last like uh, couple of months. Where, um, you know, I think in my case, it's more the chip on my shoulder is like I have to prove myself again as a founder, right? Before I I would yeah. want to jump back into VC. But on the flip side, I do see so many like part-time like syndicate VCs were just following on. And again, where it, it, it turns into the focus or it turns into um, really having your investment eth- ethos very um, kind of limited. Um, you know, who knows? Like uh, that's where it right now, I feel like over the next five years, let's say before that, I think you and I are going to be able to raise a fund. Um, who knows? But until then, if you and I are able to just show the pipeline of amazing founders or amazing startups that we have access to and be able to offer not only our people the opportunity to say, hey, they're, they're, they're raising an awesome round. There are these other co-investors. There are these leads. Go check them out, right? Like we're not, we're not financial advisors or anything. We're just, it's literally how these deals are made day in and day out in all the, the these tech ecosystems. So um, I agree that in uh, a VC fund or, or uh, you know, some sort of, um, whether it's an accelerator oriented one or some other early stage fund, it totally make, does make sense. And yeah, like I, I just, I, I see that for us in the future. It's just like right now, again, you know, whenever I, I, I think that big, it's still like my imposter syndrome holding me back. I'm like, hey, there's a lot of work we got to get done before. So then let's let's like close the full loop then if it comes circle against square, like so you had your vision, but like what else is there? Because I think it's really interesting that you just went out and said, Hey, listen, yeah, I want to do it, but I, I'm not sure if 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 I can deliver. And and whatever that is, that's for you and I to talk about. And more importantly, by again, I keep saying this metaphorical you and I, but people. Talk to your people, talk to your study up to studios, advisors, talk to your people, talk to your, your network. You know, we'll always have it. We'll treat ourselves the worst, which is brutal. But, you know, what else do you think in the end people need to know? Because candidly, what I would want people to know is like, because I went through it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, and I don't know, are we cussing or no? Uh, so why not? There's just a, a lot of stupid shit out there. There's just a lot of like, Hey, we have five hundred billion dollars under management, and and I have seventy six million investors for you to talk to, and and just listen to me, and give me your money, and give me your equity, and it's like, at some point, it's just nauseating, and you get to the point where like, you just want to close the book. You want to close the book, and I think what's really important, and I and I talked about it the it was yeah this morning because it's Tuesday. I talked about it with a group that I have now been with. Every morning, of, and and I'm and you and I, Seth, don't like if we talk about ROI of your hours, you're getting to 300 and 500. And it's like you sit there and you give that to people, but it's like I gave an hour. Nope, I didn't give anything this morning. I allowed myself to get the value of an hour with a group of people, but it's a mastermind group that I work with. And I'm like, man, like I, I've ran the flag, like I ran a, a kind of a silly idea up to them. and. And they're like, you know, it's not silly, X, Y, and Z. And, and my point is like, I've been with them for going on two years now. So they're not like vignettes. And I, I talk about this quite a bit, especially on the startup side, because it's extremely alienating. It's extremely lonely. People come in phases, in chapters, in vignettes. I'm like, I'm, I'm, it's brutal. 
it's brutal. And you might have an advisor or a mentee or a mentor and they come on and they take some equity and it's like, yeah, we're super, we're, you're doing awesome. And then, you know, tapers off a bit. And then in the next quarter, you don't, you, you're chasing after them to, to have a meeting with you. And you're like, right. yeah. and then you're just like, fuck, like at this point, it's me versus the world. And that's, that's it's, draining. it's, it's, it's draining. It can get unhealthy. It can get very like kind of dark. I completely understand. Like, yeah. um, and I, I think that's where, again, like the, the perspective that we can bring with our guests, right? Because a lot of the people that we're going to be interviewing and talking to have not only gone through it themselves, yeah. but then <laughs> in some cases have also helped us get through our own. So yeah. that kind of unique perspective is, is going to be, be pretty phenomenal. Um, so I did, I did want to bring that as, as well. The vision, I think we have a grandiose vision. I think what one real outlying factor is like, I have some people in my relationship sphere that I shouldn't and I keep them along because I, in the beginning I had this big kind of pedestal syndrome. And and now, you know, once you get through it, I, I, you really kind of get to the nitty gritty. And I'm super excited about what startup studios can offer to people in that, in that iteration and, and the people and the quality of people. And again, though, I think it then also goes back to, and, and I'll be gauche and I talk money, but like, it's also important to be like, they have to be bought in for some reason. While it's not a huge ROI to them, they have to be like, there's a commitment factor. There's truly a commitment factor. And even, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll break down just for two seconds about the accelerator. You know, if you don't pay for something or you don't have deliverables and you don't give me your deliverables to get to the next thing, and that's why I wouldn't allow, allow you to move forward until you did your work, like people don't do the work sometimes. And the accountability metric is really important and everybody gets at that point because then the energy is matched. If it's one person bringing a bunch of energy and the other person being like, I'm going to suck that energy. Nope, they're not coming from both from a giving place. I think we've built out a network of people that come from giving places. You can't put an ROI on coming from a place of giving. Mm -hmm. no, actually, I, I, that I should be a tagline. Come from a place <laughs> of giving. Yeah, actually, that that is pretty good. We should consider it because I was you've done nothing. Like, you you have done nothing but give to me. You have done nothing but give to me, um, and that's why we like last night. I was like, I don't want to stop working on this. Like, yeah, we'll figure it out. But like, this is fun. This isn't work. Yeah, no, right. On. Um, I appreciate you saying that. Like, um, yeah, the the point that you brought up, I'm I'm kind of spacing on it right now, but. Hmm. Bringing your energy and and oh, uh, so but there were there were twofold. Uh, you mentioned the the program, right? And the program too. So like um, like you've had a lot more success on the paid accelerator or like the paid program model and the paid community model than I have. Um, and so the way I'm looking at that is more like not only kind like, of taking your lead and we're going to be announcing those kinds of programs and and stuff soon, but then. Uh, the way I see it is as we are organizing our network, right, and and kind of going through and plugging people as we go, like we have we have ideas for like a go-to-market kind of accelerator, we'll call it accelerator or call it a program, go-to-market, a seed fundraising, a, a pre-seed fundraising, an MVP, um, a prototyping, you know, if you're a corporate, um, uh, like a, a professional who's thinking about starting a startup, like, you know, we have, a, we're thinking about a program for that. And it's not like you or I who are going to be teaching it. It's going to be like, you know, us kind of organizing it, trying to bring in other people around it, and their experience is going to speak for themselves. So while the paid programs, I feel, are going to be a big part of it, what I am also super excited about is, is that the office hours element. Right? Yeah. Like, it where yep. um like the, the the free 20 minutes and, and the reason why i keep it 20 minutes is because even in the past like most meetings that i've taken 20 minutes has been awesome if i needed Isn't to go it so over funny that we budget right? them an hour and like after exactly. 17 minutes you're like so how's your kid you're like no we can be done we can actually right? be done now <laughs> yeah and if if it's somebody that you connect with right fine give it okay, uh, you, you know, have an extra buffer you know, if it's not you know. like okay 20 minutes you know let's let's keep it short and and over so um, like us keeping those office hours open and saying like, Hey, if you want free 20 minutes with, you know, one of us, that to me is awesome. Like, I feel like most, not most programs don't do it. They try to be behind like a network or, or behind a gatekeeper. And it's like, why? Like at, at this stage and, and it kind of alludes to us, if 
I feel if we want to become good VCs in the future, right? And especially right now, we're still in this phase of we have access to awesome people and capital, but we're still very much with our founder hats as well. Like we want to totally. still live through it and, and get a few more stars before, yeah. um, you know, I would feel comfortable taking somebody's money again and, and you know, reinvesting, even though we have plenty of people who would trust us to, you know, play around with something. Um, so the, the the free office hours, like if you're a pre-seed or early stage company who wants to test it out, excuse me, you know, reach out, talk to one of us for 20 minutes. We've been through the block. We can either suggest you or, or give you a direction, or we can point you to some of the people which are in our network. Their profiles are going to be completely open, all their public information. You can DM them yourself, or if you want our help, you know, talk to us. Tell us what you're doing, and if we feel like you're at a stage where that intro is what they are open to, because we know our people. Um, and as we go along with the podcast, they're going to give us more information about what kind of deals to send them over to. If you fit within that, then there's absolutely no reason why either you or I are not going to try to make that connection. Like, we're not sitting here like, oh, no, you got to pay us like $10,000 before we do that. It's like, no, please go do it. Go fly with this. And, you know, if, if things go well, just come back, like help us out in the future. Or, you know, like things can go wrong as well. And that's what, like, I, I think what people don't understand is what you just said, just to be completely transparent, you're running the gamut between, hey, call me. Hey, call me. Let's talk about the friction point. Oh, that sucks. Here's your problem. Your vertical integration's here. You go to market, your product market fit here. It's, hey, think of it just, you know, strategic partner for your, part, your product market fit. Here's an idea. Yo, listen, you're, you're, you're pontificating as a prop tech company, but everything on your website is saying that you're actually a direct and commercial SaaS that has no prop tech. You need to go talk to Lindsay Peterson over at Ironclad. She's a brand like, She'll, she's a Nike brand strategist. Yeah, she's $10,000 for her program. And I'm telling you, I get nothing from this, but I can't help you. You're at that point. That's wildly value additive. That's so accretive across the board because we know what we don't know. Right, exactly. It's kind of cool, man. And it, the the interesting part is like, even though like you go through so many kinds of companies and you see so many kinds of people, right? And even even as founders and CEOs or COOs, like, like however much you want to fit people into certain buckets, everybody finds a way out. Like there, yeah. there's no such thing as like a bad founder. There, there's bad attitude. There's like bad you know mistakes and shit happens. Like uh, you know luck plays such a humongous part of it. But um, you know we I I think both you and I know people and and have gone through it ourselves where we have seen complete like 180 degree changes. Uh, from people who just had a good enough attitude and stuck with it. So what do we see it next? Um, you know what? So I, I guess we should kind of talk a little about why are we doing this? Like, um, I like, cause I mean, we, we've already pointed out the fun aspect, like that's for sure. Uh, we have, we, we know people, we, we have information or, you know, we're just curious ourselves, but uh, I, I'm curious for you or, or I want you to start this. <laughs> no, fuck. no, man, you start because not because I could go like so many different directions. I don't know what you're really asking. All right. Well, I mean, well, just, you know, why? Why are you deciding to put time into Star Studios like, right now? And, and full disclosure, right? Like you and I both are. I mean, I'm I'm looking for work right now. You have uh, a funded startup that you're building. Um, we aren't planning on doing building this like full time or anything or, you know, this is still going to be very much like secondary. So we're like, I'm doing a lot of the grunt work because I have more time available. And, but we we told ourselves at the beginning, we wanted to only put like five, six hours a week into this. We're, we're more than happy to put in more. Um, but, you know, like from that aspect, like I, I feel why, uh, to go back to this, the answer, like why I'm doing this in the first place. A, I've been toying with like startup communities and, and stuff like this for such a long time. And it's really just connecting with people and, and you know, building these bridges, right? So I've tried them with incubators. I've, I've built accelerators. I've built VC funds. And 
all of that, like a lot of them required money, a lot of them required space and time and energy and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like in, in 2023, with you as my co-founder in this, like the energy that we bring in and our, our individual like uh, strengths, I feel like with a fraction of all that, those resources and energy, we can provide way more value. Um, and uh, from like presenting information that just you and I find interesting. Um, I, I think that is a fun aspect to me. Um, separately, I guess, you know, Part of my imposter syndrome, so I, I feel, and, and you and I, again, have spoken about this. I feel at this stage in my life, like, there's a lot I need to learn to be a good founder. And so in my head, I'm like, hey, I've failed, like, you know, seven, eight times now and blah, blah, blah. So I'm not a good founder. But the people, like, the other people, like, the people that we're going to be meeting, they they value my, my relationship. They value my expertise for whatever reason, right? At the same time, the communities that I built from zero, from nothing, regardless of, you know, whether they were really successful at breeding unicorns or X, Y, Z, that's, that's beside the point. It's more so like with very little, you and I have the opportunity to build connections and hopefully um, relationships that blossom even more. And who knows, maybe that's going to result in more opportunities for us, more opportunities for, for the friends who we're going to be highlighting or in general, we just kind of you know, do this as like a, a, it stays a side gig and we're just kind of like going for the way. There, there's a lot of different ways. To... No, not at all, dude. And it, I think it actually plays into exactly like how I thought, but mine was, and and I think I, the only reason I'm bringing it up, I, I, I like if people didn't assimilate with that, to something like I wasn't a bound founder. I, I grew up a hedge fund of a billion two in a decade. I mean, I did work. And I'm still getting shit on. You know, I come to a place, again, wrong colors, tattoos, no network, no Harvard, no MIT, non-technical. And, you know, and and I'm not, there's no doors open and I'm I'm not going to sit here and there's no, there's, you know, it's not a tear. It's, it's a Texas, guys, relax. It's not a tear. I'm not crying. It's a Texas, but it's like, that's fine. You can close the door. And my entire life, 38 years. Okay, fine. The doors close. There's that like, like yeah. There's a vine on the side, and then there's that gutter. You can shimmy up those shingles. There's a third floor window, and I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it, and enough. And 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 it takes both sides of the coin. It takes what you went through, being like, hey, listen, this sucks, and I need that. And it maybe it didn't suck, but it still sucks because no matter what, we're still having the same conversation, dude. Yeah. So like, if if we're being completely honest, a billion versus whatever people think of themselves, we're here together doing the same thing at the same table so i think it's important that 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 just that whole paradigm just gets what sucks is like i'm not i don't want to sit here and use some cliche to like i'm gonna disrupt or or blockchain or web3 and it, no I'm, I'm not I'm, the reality is f you if, if you want you know if you want to fund 98 percent of the you know venture capital monies in one way yeah. and they're just taking a punt on one out of 10 because their portfolio nine out of 10 are garbage because they actually don't give a shit. Like I'm good, man. We can, there's, there's value of not doing it that way. Yeah. So, oh, I mean the power rule in VC or in private, like any investment, right? Like it's going to stick around for as long. Yeah. As can. And that, that might be my why then I, I, and, and you know what? It might be a David and Goliath or it might be a David and like 47 Goliaths. I get it. I'm young enough. I haven't hit 50 yet. I, I got a little bit of just vinegar in me. And I think that might be my why. To be honest. Awesome. Well, but it's a good yin and yang. Yeah, no, absolutely. And again, right, I, I hope this dynamic is coming off. Like uh, when we get some some more extra personalities in here, it's gonna uh, I like I said, I'm I'm super excited. So what do we what do you think about the the next one? Who's 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 top line? So people get an understanding. Yeah. Are we talking um, Hey, here's my next door neighbor, Sam Smith, and he likes to, you know, fart in shoeboxes. Or is like, oh, yeah, Elon's coming on. Well, that, you know, wish. <laughs> yeah. bad idea. But my point is like, you know, what, what's your thought process? Um, so initially, right, like the, the the filter that I had in mind was ideally it's somebody who has sold a company from zero 
to at least 50 million or, or higher. And and we know like from 50 million to half billion, or in some cases even more, um, or even on the, on the flip side, right? If there's somebody who raised some money and uh, in my, like let's say $10 million worth and was able to, to get in, a, you know, maybe the, the initial traction and initial of that big dopamine hit and then it crashed and burned and then had to like rebuild themselves from all that pressure of like, holy shit, I, I actually lost a, quite a bit of money. And, you know, quite a like at that point, you're dealing with a decent, big, big, large team and other personalities. So I feel I, I would be interested in getting those perspectives as well uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. But um, even though I think the, the, the lucky or, or the good part is that the, the people that we know who might have fit into that profile of like having raised money, their companies didn't work out, they actually tried something else or are doing pretty well for themselves now and can provide a much better, like more consistent timeline of how they pull themselves like, you know, back from the bootstraps. So, yeah. And again, the only thing I would add to that to kind of round it out if we're, you know, towards the end is I'd sprinkle on every person, like every feature and, and thought process that you just kind of line itemed sprinkle on also like realness. Because every time you've introduced me to somebody, again, I'm sure like it's been like probably a few months if I talk to anybody. I text them right now. They call me. Hey, what do you need? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, and that's not what I've been used to, man. That's just not, like, screw whatever everybody else did. Like me personally, I'm telling you, like that has not been my MO, my design department in the past 17 months. So like, it's almost like, I'm like, where's my wallet? Are you taking my wallet? Like, so I can, I can see it. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're normalizing with like, Hey, listen, I messed up here. I didn't do it here. But like, if it's too much of a yes, man, like say no every once in a while, then I'll believe it. And well, you've, I, I feel like you see more yes men than I have because you've been in the world of like high finance, like, you know, Hey, I, I try, I raise a small fund and you know, we, yeah. Yeah, it was more of our ego trying to match like your kind of world, but yeah. there's no, there's nothing like that. So uh, I no, feel was, like we're gonna brutal. get. Yeah. It was brutal. So I'm glad that I'm I'm very excited to get on the journey of the other way. I'm Let's do it. Excited for you as well. I mean, I your story is gonna come out just like mine, but um, I'm excited for everybody to kind of get like a deep dive of both those perspectives, and then in your case especially, like. Uh, you know the the trials and tribulations and and, and where can they find us uh well you know so on the website right now i have it on like spotify apple uh this is me like stuff, electronically so. kicking you under the table like have a fucking ready answer dude yeah well I, i'm giving it to you right so um they uh, uh thank god for website templates <laughs> 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 right? um but yeah soundcloud google Podcasts, apple Podcasts, and ideally spotify where we're going to be and uh, i already i just signed up for like rss and stuff last night um, that should be like a one plug and play and and out so yeah um let's have some fun dude this is gonna be really fun i'm excited for the programs do we have any eta i know we're about to sign off but any tas on programs and rollouts so they can get an idea so we're looking um, at 2023 yeah i mean today is uh january 17th i feel like um so the the program page as it is, right? Because we're going to be able to divide them up a little more later on. Um, yep. The ones that we want to port over from MadHad, we can put live maybe in a week week or, or two weeks. Um, anything else, or we have a couple other ideas uh, that we want to put together. I think that is going to take me like maybe a month, more like a month and a half to, to really build. But um, that's the advantage of having these uh, weekly, uh, this week at Startup Studios kind of episodes. So we can keep, keep you a prize of what so so we'll be able to tune into us next week then for this week with startup studios exactly and then um i mean we haven't scheduled our, our first uh, guest yet but i'm uh, the way i'm thinking is one week your friend one week with mine and then you know just kind of keep it going uh we're not going to limit them based on like what any particular industry or any kind of like skill set or something it's just uh let, let's just you know reach out to our our friends and <laughs> see who's available to come on and then hopefully down the road, guys, you know, once you're listening, you have ideas, questions, 
we'll have just a kind of an input, uh, you know, issues box or whatever. We'll have a quick uh, email just so you can kind of give us a narrative like, hey, listen, guys, this is great. Put on somebody about, you know, dilution of cap table if I'm raising on blah, blah, blah. We'll see. We'll absolutely. get our guys over 212 on here or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, At the time of, uh, I mean, by the time this goes live, our website should be live. So uh, for any feedback, our office hours are going to be live too. So the 20 minute uh, free time or I mean, um, not free, but, you know, rather like 20 minutes of our available time for you guys, mm -hmm. uh, whoever's listening, doesn't matter. Like our experience is more on the pre-seed seed and series A side. Um, you know, if you're looking for somebody who's got way more or uh, way different experience, we can find We got you. Yeah. We'll network you. Um, you know, that's the whole whole point of being like. The and they'll actually but... answer your email exactly. or pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, definitely uh, uh, hit us up on, on the website or reach out to us on socials and stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, first episode in the bag. Like, this is Let's awesome. get it done, kids. Yep. All right, well, Bye, thank you, everybody. And uh, we'll be back soon. Yeah, tune in next week, guys.